This morning I had the great opportunity to meet uh, someone who I will call uh, Dimitri. He is in his early 20s and he was involved with gangs for many years. He started uh, by d doing some drugs and then he got recruited. He delivered some errands and then he went up to the level of being a, a hitman. Uh, so obviously I had to protect his identity. I could only film his back. He was telling me that uh, when you are involved in gangs, you have to pay the bill. Sooner or later you have to pay the bill. So for example, he cannot go, right now he cannot go out on the street freely he has to be on the motorcycle with a helmet or in a car uh, and a few weeks ago uh, the rival gang tried to uh, execute him because they still thought that he was uh, involved these communities are so disenfranchised are so disconnected from what is only 10 minutes away from here i mean just down the hill there is a expensive private school but here is just an, a whole other story i mean some 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 houses don't even have running water um, i'm not even talking about the the sewage system uh, we were driving and just around the corner we saw someone uh, at first sight we thought this person was dead and it was a woman she had a, a, a plastic bag on her head and she was just lying on the street. She was moving but we suspect that she was just inhaling drugs. So this place needs more outreach centers like this. Uh, people who can teach the youth some skills that will be useful on the job market. How to be a barber, how to repair cell phones, how to run a beauty salon, how to be an entrepreneur.